When it was first revealed, Steam Cleaner got a lot of attention. People thought it might be a pretty good counter to Kazakasan, or maybe against Quest Priest, or even against Prestor Druid. But it turns out in this expansion, there just aren't that many Lady Prestors running around. So I decided to put one in my own deck. So the goal here is we play Lady Prestor, we replace almost our entire deck with dragons, and then we use Steam Cleaner to kill all those dragons. That lets us reach fatigue faster, which lets us kill the opponent with the Demon Seed. A nearly perfect strategy. Also, because Lady Prestor only replaces minions, after we Steam Clean our deck, all we'll be left with is Impending Catastrophes and Wicked Shipments. So we can immediately draw a bunch of cards to finish the opponent off. Uh, this deck is not good, but you can definitely have some fun games with it. Hyena's cool. I don't think there's much reason to keep the others. Hate the turn one peasant that's going to draw at least two cards. Surely you trade here to protect the peasant. They don't care about peasant. That's an interesting position to take. put two into that so I can coin Tamsin next turn. Tamsin does make it a lot harder to finish the quest, but uh, might need the AoE. Especially if that trades. Alright, well if I care about my quest at all, that hyena is a good draw. Still need five more on their rat king, that's pretty pathetic. Oh, okay. That's a fine emergency maneuvers. Okay, there's a little help for my quest. Need four more for this. I guess I can see if I can bounce a hyena here. It'd probably be too expensive to be worth my time, even if it did get bounced. Okay. That's pretty good. Hyena. 
I'm afraid of explosive trap. Maybe I should have left this at 4 health and just traded off my 2-1. Definitely worth considering, at least. Happy to have an entitled customer here. Finish the quest like that or part one of the quest. And then I think I just go customer tap. Could get this in play, I guess. I could use the cards. Probably need to find like spammy Arcanist or Gigafen or something. We tap. Spammy Arcanist, but it's pretty hard to use here. Let's draw a couple cards. Oh, it was Ice Trap all along. Well, that's fine. I do have a 15 on my Denathrius. Probably going to be 17. And then if they counter with their Denathrius, bam, big game hunter. Okay, might be setting up to get spammed. I guess not too much 4 health stuff. The first imp was good, the next two, not so much. Hey, my combo, I just don't have time to play it. How do I get a two health minion? Oh, I play big game hunter. Oh wait, this just keeps reviving, right? So doesn't spammy arcanist just always clear Hydralodon plus head? All right, well, I kind of want this Mistress of Mixtures to die anyway. But I don't think I needed to play it for the sake of Spammy Arcanist. Well, this, this does wake up and die. Nice. Beautiful. So we stabilize with Denathrius next turn, and then we go, like... And then they Denathrius, we go Prestor, Big Game Hunter. And then we have Steam Cleaner. Still need some help on actually finishing the quest, though. So I might just die if I try to finish it with Fatigue. Well, I mean, that's the Big Game Hunter, right? I need to deal 14 more damage to myself. I mean, this is just, this is the hype line of play. I do have Denathrius to heal up a lot to make this worthwhile, potentially. And I have Flame Imp to help out with the quest. So when I play Steam Cleaner, all that's left in my deck 
is one unstable shadow blast. So we can start fatiguing pretty quick. You don't survive when you make that attack, friend. Your minion has to survive to be frenzied. Well, I've got some good onboard trades. Are you waking up? You are not. I think I'm steam cleaning. It'll work out, I promise. Oh, this goes by one at a time. I really want to trade the other one, darn. Alright, this is fine. Kinda scary, but not too, too bad. Actually, just not that bad at all. Look at all those beautiful cards I destroyed. Should have traded that off first. Alright, 27. Seems fine to play here. Could play like Gigafen or something, but pretty sure this is the vibe. Pretty strong board, but they don't deal with my lifesteal, man, so it doesn't really matter. And we can start damaging ourselves. I'm taking three off fatigue here if I tap. So then Flame Imp gets us to phase two. I could probably go Wicked Shipment, Impending Catastrophe, and then just play my Tamsin. I would draw five cards which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 damage, which is 20 damage. I don't think I want to take 20. I want my opponent to take 20. So let's just hit him with the tap, hit him with the flame amp. And then I'm taking 3 from my draw next turn. No, why would you concede? Uh, Shadow Blade Slinger is pretty good against Tempo Warrior stuff. in hero power. I could have gone Flame Imp Mistress, which would have been kind of fine, but then it makes it hard to play my Slinger, so I don't think I liked it. That's a tap, and then I think we can play one Flame Imp here. Okay. 
Good enough. Nine cards in hand, that's an easy life tap. And I guess at this point I've come to the conclusion that I don't really need to be worried about the Shadow Blade Slinger. So we'll just play some one drops. And the next turn is probably gonna be tap Theatar. Although maybe I should be shadow blasting my own minions. I don't know. That was astonishing. Uh, so do I care enough about my quest to kill two of my own cards here? I think I do. And then we can life tap. And sure, I'll play that. Why not? So I haven't really been thinking about what I'm up against, but it probably is a Galvin Guard deck, right? Which, uh, I don't know if that's good for me. It's probably just a faster OTK than what I'm doing. So, I mean, I guess I can just Theatar here. I do want to be careful about when I finish my quest because I don't want them to Theatar my reward. Otherwise, I could just go Mistress plus Shadow Blast here. Uh, I could see Finley being pretty good for me. And I guess you can have Spammy Arcanist. That's fine. Alright, there's a Spammy Arcanist, but it did cost the opponent 5 mana, so I'm quite okay with that. So, in order to play Tamsin here, I can just go Shadow Blade Slinger, Shadow Blast it, and then play Tamsin. Seems okay to me. I'm very happy to see that the Control Warrior didn't just concede to Tamsin. But them not conceding does mean they're probably Galvangar, which is bad for me. But it's okay. Wicked Shipment. Uh, I think... Hmm. So I can go Wicked Shipment, Impending Catastrophe, and then Lady Darkvane. She draws a lot of cards if these imps live. I would draw three immediately, putting me up to seven. Let's draw some cards. Alright, so they can make me overdraw, like, two here, I think. Should be fine. Okay, we found Steam Cleaner and Dreadlich Tamsin. Those are both very, very good. Okay, looks like they are interested in the overdraw. Oh my god. 
Prestor was one away from being overdrawn. That was so scary. Powerful Imp survived the brawl. Play some Lady Prestor. Do a little life tapping. Who doesn't love a Bloodbound Imp? What's so astonishing about that? Okay, good little board clear. I am still at 40, so even if they have some Galvangar stuff, it shouldn't be too scary. And they haven't played From the Depths at all, so I feel like I'm kind of chilling at the moment. Well, that card's never getting played. Down to two cards in deck, which are going to be a Shipment and a Catastrophe. Man, they're fatiguing almost as fast as me. I guess I had 10 more cards in my deck, though. Just don't concede, because I'm pretty sure I have lethal. So Dreadlich Tamsin deals 6, I think. This deals a lot of damage. Oh wow, it was actually almost exact lethal. Alright, hit him with the well played because they did stick around for me. 